Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in males. Traditionally, prostate cancer was diagnosed using a transrectal biopsy approach. This approach had large amount of complications in the form of infectious complications and other complications. Now we have the transperineal biopsy approach which has shown to be more effective and safer to diagnose these prostate cancer cases. Hi everybody, I am Dr. Rohit Kaushal, Senior Consultant in the Department of Virology and Kidney Transplant at Max Hospital, Saket, New Delhi. So as we all know, prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in males. The only way of diagnosing prostate cancer is by a biopsy. Traditionally, biopsy used to be done by a transrectal route in which the ultrasound probe was placed inside the patient's rectum and under local anesthesia, the biopsy used to be done through his rectum. Now, this approach was uh, having many complications in the form of infectious complications like urinary tract infection, prostatitis or sometimes abscess. To obviate all these complications, now the trend is moving towards a transperineal biopsy approach. In transperineal prostate biopsy, we place the ultrasound probe like in the transrectal approach, the probe is placed inside the rectum, but the biopsy here is done through the patient's perineum. Now what is a perineum? The perineum is a diamond shaped area which is located just below the patient's scrotum and above his anal opening. So the advantage of doing a transperineal biopsy for prostate cancer diagnosis which has been shown in various studies is that it gives the patient less infections risk compared to the transrectal biopsy approach and a better or almost the same similar cancer detection rate for these patients. So any patient with a raised serum PSA level should contact your urologist at the earliest to get the correct diagnosis with the least complication rates. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.